what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The city of Minneapolis is banning police chokeholds and the use of excessive force amid a public outcry for police reform. But that's not all. They're also requiring officers to step in if they see one of their fellow officers engaging in excessive force. You mean to tell me that was not already a law? I swear to God, it's like we're living in the twilight zone. They don't require police officers to step in and break up excessive force. Now we know it seldom happens. Well, okay, so maybe that's why it don't happen because they're not required to. They're not punished. That's what it is. It's mainly, it's not, they're not punished. They're not punished for it. Because if they were being punished, it would stop immediately. Like we're talking today. It's that simple. Accountability, fam. That's all it boils down to. The officers don't step in because there's no repercussions. There's no benefit. There's no incentive to step in. Think about it. If you step in and another officer gets offended, especially when you roll up on the scene and there's a couple of officers or four or five, six officers already banging on somebody, when you walk up there, what are you going to do? Especially if you're one of those officers who just got on the force or these officers who bang, who are banging on the citizen, they got you outranked. Or maybe you work in a territory that you're new to, and you don't really know what's going on. No one just come in trying to bust it up. So you kind of let it happen. This is why people say there are no good cops because a good cop would not allow that to happen. Fuck your job. All of this stuff about, well, you know, uh, I got a pension, I got to keep my job, and, you know, I want to say something, but I can't. No, man, stop all that cow shit. That's coward talk. If all of these so-called po good police officers was just to step up, speak up, speak out, actually do what their job description says that they're supposed to do, we wouldn't have all these issues. Because... Number one, the rogue officers, the racist officers, the corrupt ones, they would be afraid to act out on their convictions. They'd be afraid. Others would be shamed. And the only reason why I say they wouldn't be shamed because it's hard to shame a racist. They're already despicable. They're, they know that they're the scourge of the earth. They already know they're horrible people. So it's nothing that you can do to help them. They're lost individuals. They're despicable, degenerates. It's nothing you can do to help them. I mean, for further proof, all you have to do is look at Donald Trump. It's that simple. They are shoe gum. The bottom of the shoe. They're that gum that stick to that bottom of the shoe or the Manure to get caught up in the in the crevices of the sole of the shoe. Oh, come on, man. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The bottom of the shoe. I thought, oh man, I bet you if we start looking a little deeper, we find a whole lot of laws that exist that we didn't know exist, or laws that don't even exist that we took for granted that existed. And this is so-called a nation of laws. If that's true, why is it that we have so many outlaws roaming the streets? Many who work for local, state, and federal government. I can't provide the answer, fam. Maybe you can help me. Drop a comment. No more talk. What the mate is talking about. Yeah.